Gilly the Kid Straight Clowned, Jamal Charlo, he said, when Caleb Plant slapped you, you went from Mufasa to Simba. He said, how is it that you want to slap me, but you don't want to slap the dude who slapped the mess out of you? He said, you trying to scare people with your face, frowning your face up, but when Caleb Plant slapped you, you turn whiter than Caleb Plant. And so what happened was, is Jamal, I guess, was responding to something Gilly said, and he said, you know, I'll slap Gilly the Kid, who is a rapper, right? Gilly and Wallow, they got a million dollars worth of game. They interview a lot of boxers. They interview Jermel before the fight. And so this is what Gilly was going in about. And the Charlo twins seem to have lost their aura. Why do I say that? Well, I first seen people testing them. You know, if you follow them, you know that they're live wires. People were you know, they kind of handled them with sensitive gloves because you didn't know what you was going to get. I remember Jermel went off on Broner and Tank at a weigh-in one time and everybody was just looking crazy, right? So the first thing I noticed was when Danny Jacobs confronted Jermel when Jermel wasn't with Jermel. And Jermel came in later, but Jermel was like talking about Jacobs or tweeting about, they were tweeting each other and then Jacob seen him and he was like, you know, just the guy I want to see, right? And then, you know, they went back and forth and he was like, you ain't touching him yet. You ain't touching him yet, right? So this is before Jacob's fought uh, Triple G and Canelo, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, he was trying to big dog them and he was the first person we really seen step to Charlo besides Andre. Actually, Andre was first because Andre pulled up on Jamal and said, you know who I am. You and your brother, both of y'all are beneath me, right? This is at the uh, Galen Center after uh, Charlo knocked out Julian Williams. He said, you know who I am. You and your brother, y'all beneath me, right? And then, because uh, Charlo was like, you undefeated, right? And he was like, you know, this is Andre. So Andre confronted them. Daniel Jacobs confronted them. And then we seen... Tony Harrison talk about Jermel like a dog. You know, they dogged each other out at the press conference. I mean, he called him everything under the sun, literally. I never seen nobody go at Charlo like how Tony Harrison was going at Mel, right? Then Tony, uh, then Caleb Plant slapped uh, Jermel Charlo, and obviously he kind of just stood there. I don't know if he was faded or what, but, you know, the Charlo brothers, the Charlo twins had an aura of, you know, strength and, you know, lions, lions roar, you know, the lion will feed on on his prey and, you know, the hunters and, you know, they just had this aura that they seem to have lost. And now that Jermel went in there and people feel like, and people are saying this about these guys, not necessarily me. These, This is what people are saying. I'm sure they can see what people are saying. That's why they're responding to a lot of this stuff. But uh, people felt like Mel laid down for Canelo, right? They both been calling out Canelo. That little B can't beat me, you know. That These are the things they said. But, you know, guys have been testing them. And, uh, you know, Harrison has some close fights with, with Charlo, right? The first fight. Um, you know, he was basically giving Charlo issues with his jab. And then in the second fight, he thought he was winning so much so that he started celebrating in the 11th round. I'm talking about Mill versus Tony. So they have lost some of their era from their fights. I remember when Ma fought Montiel. That was his last fight. And people was like, man, he don't look good. When he fought Korobov, um, you know, a lot of these fights... So I don't know if that's just a lifestyle thing or they they lost a lot of their hunger, but I didn't I haven't seen the growth. You know what I'm saying? I'm seeing the decline from uh, both, right? Because Mel has had his issues with being out of the ring and his hand injury. So I don't know what's I don't know what they have left. I don't know how they can get respect back on their name, but basically now everybody is just. Uh, seeming to turn the tables on them, and they're they they no longer have that aura of 
uh, fear or anything, right? Mason Cameron went crazy on Jermel, said he sold black people out, said, you know, if you're doing it for the culture, what culture is that? Track culture? So a lot of these rappers and stuff like that have been going in on Mel and Ma, right? So I just feel like they've lost some of their aura. And uh, the only way to get it back is to go after another top guy and beat him, right? So let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the land. Champ side.